Let's take a high-level look at Apogee's monetization feature and what we need to do to monetize an API. We'll start off by creating a few artifacts that enable you to share your APIs with your developer community. Whether you are monetizing your API or sharing it free of charge, you'd create the same set of initial artifacts. First, you'll create an API proxy, which serves as a facade between your API and the apps calling it. You'll also define resources that model the structure of your API's resources to give you fine-grained control. Then you'll attach any number of out-of-the-box policies along the proxy flow to take care of securing, transforming, and mediating API messages. Once you have a set of API proxies ready, you'll set up your API products, taking specific proxy resources and grouping them together into products to address specific needs and use cases for your developer community. You'll then register your app developers, which enables them to view your API offerings. Once registered, your app developers then register their apps with you so they can associate their apps with the API products that their apps will need to access. Creating the app provides the developer with an API key that they put into their code that unlocks access to the resources in your API product. At this point, your API is ready to go out to your developer community. However, if you are monetizing your API, you'll need to create just a few more artifacts to prepare it for use. You'll create a transaction recording policy for each product that you want to monetize. A transaction recording policy lets you define what Apogee should look for in your API transactions to calculate charges, revenue sharing, and refunds for API usage. For example, you can tell Apogee what constitutes a successful transaction that should be charged or what the net or gross price of a transaction is so that revenue sharing can be done. Next, you'll create a package for each product or group of products that you want to monetize. For example, let's say that you want to create a package of products that provide payment messaging resources. You can take your payments product and your messaging product and group them into a package that you offer to your developer community. Once you've created a package, you can create one or more rate plans, which define the business model for your API package. A rate plan defines how and how much you will charge for using your API. It also defines whether you will include a premium period, setup fees, and revenue sharing, amongst other options. Developers can now sign up for the rate plans that give their apps the right amount of access to the products they need. And there you have it, a quick overview of the artifacts you'll need to create to monetize your APIs. Create your proxies, resources, and products, then register your developers and their apps. Apply transaction recording policies to your products, and then package up your products and define your API business model using rate plans. Developers then sign up for the rate plans that best suit their app's needs. To learn more about Apogee and monetization, see the links provided.